Hello and welcome back to Tyranny. Um, mm, 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 twin, twin rivers. We have all dolls to explore. Again. We have the keystone. Why do I always? Can't do that. I am always wounded, like permanently. I didn't fall in battle since the last time we rested, so I didn't understand why, but never mind. Oh, come on. Oh. The Blood Brotherhood soldier eyes you with immediate distrust, holding up a hand, indicating you should stop. How in the name of my fallen brothers did you get in here? Wait a minute. You're the Fate Binder, aren't you? I've heard of you. You're the one that removed the Edict of Storms from Sentinel Stand, Cape. At least that's what the people are saying. He nods appreciatively. Impressive. But you haven't lived until you've spent some time in the old walls. So, how did you get in here anyway? Myrick gave me his keystone. So, what happened to Myrick if you have the keystone? Why isn't he with you? Well, there was an altercation between some of your brothers, and Myrick didn't survive. Brothers fighting brothers. Ferris shakes his head. We have bigger problems and shouldn't be killing each other. I suppose it's the price we pay. But that doesn't explain why you're here. Tell me what you want or get gone. I need your help to find Forgebound Master Zedenia. Very smiles. You're funny, Fatebinder. Rathamon told me you can be trusted and to keep you from getting through at all costs. So, unless you've suddenly changed loyalties and you're planning on swearing fealty to Rathamon, you're not getting past me. Hmm. Let's talk about something else for now. What happened here? After we got in here, Ratamon went on ahead, said he had something he needed to do. We heard this terrible noise and suddenly we were swarmed by scourgers. They looked like they were running away from something. It was crazy. I've never seen them act like that before. Some of them attacked us, but most of them just kept going right out of the door. Then Ratamon re reappeared and the rest of the scourges just up and left. Ratamon was laughing, almost like it was a game. He was saying, this will show them, this is just a taste. Then he sealed the doors and told me not to let anyone else through. What is the Brotherhood doing inside the old walls? Ferris, lo Ferris looks at you like you're crazy. I don't see how that's any of your business, really. But... I suppose I also don't see how it would hurt to tell you since you're already here, he shrugs. Ever since Ratamon spent a night inside to prove he was worthy to be the first brother, he spent more and more time in here. He said he mapped out the path so he can get through without attracting the bane, and we've never had a problem as long as we stayed in this room. We can hide out and no one knows we're here. <laughs> You're the first one I've seen in here who wasn't part of the Brotherhood. He told me to stay here and gave me something he calls a torch key. I have no idea what it is or what it does and Ratamon didn't tell me. He keeps a secret to himself. Give me that. Let me try that. I know I can get him to hand it over. If you think you can get it from him, go ahead and try. Siren hums just loud enough for you to hear. She sways, slowly moving her hands in front of Ferris's face as she does. His eyes quickly go out of focus and his head begins to follow the pattern made by Siren's hands. She stops swaying and holds out a hand. Ferris stares at it for a few moments. Is that what you wanted? His voice is thick and low like someone in the middle of a dream. His men look around, concerned, but no one makes a move to stop him, 
As she holds out the torch key and places it in Serene's hands, she smiles, then looks pointedly at Ferris's man. That's just a small sample of what I can do, so I suggest we keep this between us, okay? There's a hint of a song lingering in the air, and the group all slowly nods as one. Ferris shakes his head and looks around. What's going on? Why are you all staring at me? His men quickly look away, whispering and laughing amongst themselves. Ferry stares them down, a mixture of anger and confusion playing across his features. I already told you, the torch key is staying with me. Will they let me through? Hey. Found something. Great. Crystal and the beacon shimmer softly as you bring the torch key closer to it. Myth. Found something. Yes, old walls are full of items that we need to look closely for. Garn? Uh, Ambir? Uh -huh. A lot of pain over here, but we can manage that. Sorry, I can't. Yes, you can. I just cannot hit it properly. Beast woman cannot do as Alpha wants. But the first can. Fall on the reflexes. Trouble you want to Pity you won't enjoy this as much as I do. Will do. Nothing. Okay. And there's nothing hidden in here either. Hmm. Sorry, I can't. God damn it. Sorry, Stop! And the verse almost died. Will do. Seriously. Destroy them! Oh my hearing. <laughs> I cannot aim at it properly because of it. I just stole. And they once again left nothing. Leave it to me! Oh nice. What is that? You see a worn down and faded rune embedded into the wall. It is currently impossible to decipher what the rune is. Yeah, we need land tree here. How can we get in there? Really? Oh, from here. Can we change it into something else? No. Uh, by the way, what is this? 
Sirin. Song of Benediction briefly suppressed the power Sirin's headdress has over her. Sirin quickly rises into the air and unleashes a single node before the power of the crystal returns. Her magic clears a random negative effect on nearby allies and briefly protects them from similar effects. Hmm. I'm really intrigued as to how get here because this is also I mean this part is on the same level as this one but other than that hmm. interesting can't do that blackish foul smelling water pours from these spouts and disappears away into nothingness There will be traps here. Or not. Nope, there is one. Or not. Wait, what is that? Oh, there is something. I'm trying to understand this part here. Okay, never mind for now. Maybe after we are done with our main objective here. Oh, and by the way. This piece of parchment has crudely drawn rural sigil in the center. Interesting. But not notes. No, 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 no. Um, heavy armor. Never mind them. I can. Oh, Citron. We have something new. To say the whole way we Can we interact with stuff? No. You cannot win. So now we have Citron. Okay. does nothing and it if I change it it disables the buttons so we must watch out for that trouble is afoot I got it. You are fine. Oh, I did not notice that one. Hmm. Disable it. Another rune for entry. It's all in the reflexes. At the bottom of the pit, a small hole collects all of the water pouring out of the spout. Occasionally, the hole closes and the water drains to some unseen location. 
one. Ah, I have only you selected, that's why. Uh, oh, the only one walking. Oops. Hi. Of course, I stepped right into exploding. Oh, what do we have here? Sun lance, one handed. Okay, and I wish heavy armor. Mm, 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 don't know you already have a weapon. Everyone... <laughs> we all have good weapons, that's the problem. It's worse for... it's better for your range. Hmm. Let's see about this one. And I believe... This armor is also special. Martyr. Can you wear heavy armor? I think you can. Kill nearby allies when defeated. Oh. <laughs> I mean, this is special piece. I'm trying to look for some better things for her. Let's see, when create four targets and endurance. Hmm. Yeah, I'll give you those. I want as many of the special abilities as possible. Okay, let's save. And let's go down here. Another room, that's three. Already, Lanch would be in heaven. Stop! Stop! I almost reacted uh, in time. Did I can you see hear this that? one. No, but I can see this one, which is weird. You might want to look at this. Garrick, I know this name. The bloody, dirt smeared man cries out when he sees you. Thank the forge tender you found me. We have to get out of here before the scourges come back. Or the brotherhood. I, I, I'm not sure which, one, which scares me more. What are you doing here? I was searching the area near the old walls entrance for unique metals or runes I could use in my crafting. I'm... Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to advance to the next level of my apprenticeship. Impressing forge masters is much harder than sounds, and Master Lohara is especially demanding. You really need to stand out, and I thought this was my chance. I didn't even know the Bronze Brotherhood were here until some of them showed up. I grabbed a discarded helmet and tried to blend in until I could get away. Their leader, though, thought I was a soldier who had stuck away from his post, so he demanded that I return to my duties. I was scared, so he shrugs with defeat. I followed my orders and went inside. As soon as I could get out of sight, I started running to find a way out. There's supposed to be a path of li to Lithium's crossing somewhere, he shakes his head. But that could just be a story. Of, of course I got turned around and couldn't find my way back. I barricaded myself in here to keep away from the Bronze Brotherhood patrols and the scourges roaming around. If you hadn't showed up, it would be only be a matter of time before something found me. What can you tell me about Master Luhara? She's strict, but she makes sure things get done quickly and efficiently. Like, like I said, uh, she was also impossible to impress. I figured if I could find something in here to enhance my work, she would have to notice me. 
Now all I'm going to get is, is a lecture. He looks around, a forlorn expression on his face. That is, if I get out of here alive. Please, you can't leave me here. You must help me get out. There are things in here. Bad things. Hungry things. Why not disguise yourself and sneak out? I would have, but I was committed to finding that connection with Lithium Crossing and left behind the Brotherhood armor I found. It was ill-fitting and noisy and didn't help me evade the bane, which I can assure you is a far more pressing concern than this far into the old walls than some hot-headed thugs. But you're right, uh, the disguise is a better choice. He grimaces, shaking his fist in frustration. It wasn't smart of me to let go of it, I know! I have... I... I haven't been thinking straight. It's been a moment-to-moment -moment struggle just to stay alive in this cursed place. I'm not sure you can find the, key, the gear I left behind, but I have heard the Brotherhood running through these holes. I'm certain there must be at least one around the, he, here that isn't in need of his armor anymore. With it, I believe, I can make my way out. Don't we have it? We have lots of stuff. Crimson, Scarlet Chorus, Sentinel, oh, maybe Bronze Battlefield Armor. Hmm. Really? Okay, but I think we're gonna end this part here. So for now, thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon. Bye.